Here's how to stream on TikTok Live from Streamlabs in 2024. I'll show two methods to get access, including how to go live with under 1,000 TikTok followers. I'll also show two different methods for streaming from Streamlabs, including how to multi-stream. Now this guide is completely free, but if you do choose to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra, you can use my affiliate link, which gives you $9 off and also supports my work. I'll put that both on screen and in the description. All right, so we're gonna start on streamlabs.com, which is in the description and either click on dashboard in the top right if you're logged in or click on the sign up button. And I'm gonna recommend that you sign up using a Streamlabs ID account. And once you're signed up, we wanna go on streamlabs.com slash dashboard and click on settings in the bottom left and then account settings and platforms. Now you can see I've already merged my TikTok account, but this button will say merge. So just add your TikTok account. And if you're choosing to multi-stream, add any other accounts you have as well. Now, unfortunately, TikTok does not automatically give you access to Streamlabs live streaming. So you need to do one of two things. To stream from Streamlabs, you can either use this application form, and I'll put this in the description. However, it seems a lot of people get rejected from that application form. So my recommended method is join a free to join agency who can give you a TikTok stream key. And this allows you to use Streamlabs OBS or any live streaming software. So this is a verified list of agencies you just choose one from your country and I'll put this in the description. So whether you've used the application form or you've joined a free to join agency on Streamlabs dashboard, click on download Streamlabs in the top left corner. So once you've opened Streamlabs desktop, let's now look at two different ways that you can stream from it. The first method just uses a single canvas. And if you're using the free version of Streamlabs, this just means you can stream to one platform. Or if you've bought Streamlabs Ultra, it means you can multi-stream to as many platforms that allow either landscape or vertical. And by the way, TikTok lets you live stream in both landscape or vertical, so that's up to you. But if you're not sure, I suggest you stream in vertical mode on TikTok. So let's look at how to get the vertical canvas. So we're gonna click on settings in the bottom left corner, click into video, and under base canvas resolution, you set it to custom, and then you type 1080x 1920 into both of these boxes, and then set the filter to 32 samples and set 60 FPS. Once you've done that, once you press done, it will change the canvas from landscape to vertical. Of course, if you just want to stream in landscape mode on TikTok, just leave it on 1920 by 1080. Now the second way to live stream from Streamlabs desktop uses the dual output mode. This is gonna give you both a landscape and a vertical canvas, so you can multi-stream for free to two platforms, or you can multi-stream with Streamlabs Ultra up to eight platforms. So let's look how to set up this dual output canvas. Let's click on settings in the bottom left and click onto video. And the key thing here is in the top right corner, you enable the dual output and you can copy these horizontal settings and into vertical, make sure it's the reverse. So 1080 by 1920, and you can copy these settings as well. Once you've done all that, you just press done and you should have two nice horizontal and vertical outputs. Keep in mind, if you're using dual output, it will use double the upload speed because you're sending both a horizontal and a vertical canvas. But regardless of which method you've just used, let's look at how to set up a basic live stream like you're seeing here. Just before that, if you want the latest live streaming news and tips on how to monetize and grow your live stream, then I send out a free newsletter to over 1800 creators. I'll put that in the description. All right, so let's look at how to set up your live stream on Streamlabs now. And it's broadly gonna be the same steps, whether or not you're using dual output or just one canvas. So firstly, click the plus button to make yourself a new scene. And I'm gonna right click, rename this one. We'll make two scenes. We'll make a camera only one and we'll make a one with your display and your camera. So I'll name this one camera scene and I'll press done. And I'll press the, then I'll press the plus button and I'll name this one display scene. So if I click on camera scene under these sources, I'll press the plus button and I'll choose video capture device to add in my camera. If you don't have any cameras added, you'll just be prompted to add a name for your camera. If you do and you wanna add a new one, I'll click add new source instead and you can rename it here and press add source. And what I recommend you do for your camera settings is change the resolution FPS type to custom and then make sure it's on either 1080p or 4K if you have it and make sure your FPS is 30 or 60. Usually the other settings should be fine. So you can press done or close and you should have a camera added. If like mine is not the correct size, we're gonna click on the camera under these sources. I'm gonna right click, transform, 
and I'm going to fit to screen. Now we can see because I'm using dual output, it's added it in both places. If you want to hide something from one or the other canvas, if you just hover over, you can see I've got these buttons here. So if I click on one of them, this one hides it from horizontal and this one hides it from vertical. Now, of course, I want to resize mine in vertical because this is our full screen camera display. So just our camera. So I'm basically going to click on it and in the vertical canvas, I'm going to drag it down to the bottom and drag it up to the top. And if I want to center it perfectly, right click, transform, center horizontally, it was basically centered perfectly anyway, but that's a little trick to center things perfectly. So let's move to our display scene now under the sources, press the plus button. We're gonna add our computer display. So I'll click add source. I'm gonna add a new source instead. Rename it if you want and I'll click add source. Then underneath display, I'm gonna find the correct display. Capture method automatic is fine and capture the cursor and press done. Once again, I'm gonna click on it under sources. Again, you can click the buttons here to hide or show it in horizontal and vertical. And again, I'm gonna click it to resize it in vertical mode. I'm gonna put mine in the bottom two thirds of the vertical canvas. I'll resize it to there and I'm gonna right click transform and center it horizontally so it's perfectly centered. And I'm gonna lock it into place as well because we're now gonna add in our camera. And this should now already be on the list because we've already done it. So just choose the camera from the list. And once again, I'm gonna have to resize my camera. So I'm gonna firstly transform and fit to screen, but then I'm also of course gonna click on it again and resize it. Now, if you're experiencing a bug like me, I actually can't click on the squares to resize it. You'll just have to close and reopen Streamlabs. So now I've closed and reopened it. I'll click on it again and now I can resize it. So I'm just going to shrink it down and I'm going to place it a little bit off the side and in the center on the left. And I'm going to right click transform and this time we're going to center it vertically. So it's exactly halfway up the screen. But you can see on the right hand side, I don't want it there. So I'm going to have to click on it again and then drag it back up to where I want it. So that's great, but we also need our headset and microphone added. So let's click settings in the bottom left corner and head to audio and desktop audio device one should be our headset and mic should be of course our microphone. While we're here, let's check the output settings and you can see mine is in advanced mode and you can pause and copy these if you want. Actually, TikTok suggests an 8,000 bit rate for a 1080p TikTok stream, but you could also just leave it in simple mode. And for simple mode, all you really have to do is set it to H.264 and an 8,000 bit rate. Once you're happy with all your settings and once your audio has been added, press done. Now I do suggest you add an important filter to your microphone. So in the mixer in the bottom right, find your microphone and click the settings cog and find filters and edit filters. And then just click on add filters and find noise suppression. And then just make sure like I've added here, you have an RN noise filter added. This is great for just removing background noise from computer fans and AC and things like that. So just press close once you've done that. So I've teleported to the other side of the screen because we're now gonna look at how to go live. Pretty simple, you press go live in the bottom right corner. And again, if you're using dual output, you can multi-stream for free to two platforms. As you can see, I'm using Streamlabs Ultra, which gives me up to eight platforms. Actually, I lied, it gives me up to nine platforms because I can add two custom RTMP destinations. Anyway, we've got seven selected here. And what I recommend you do is underneath show advanced settings, just check this on. And then of course, on the left, make sure you just go through the list and check which one you want in horizontal and vertical mode. And if you want to toggle a platform off, you just obviously press the toggle to turn it off. And again, as a reminder, if you do want to try multi-streaming up to nine platforms, you can use my affiliate link in the description to give $9 off the first month. So now you just check your settings for all the different platforms. Of course, TikTok's what we're focusing on. And if you have a stream key like me, you'll have the stream key box with the locate my stream key button. Don't forget, by the way, the TikTok stream key changes every time. If you haven't applied for access yet, you'll press this button, which will redirect you to this page to apply for access. If you've been natively granted access to Streamlabs, then this is low res, but this is the image provided by Streamlabs themselves. And this is the live monitor that will appear once you go live. So if you have the native access and not a stream key, all you'll be asked for is a title here with no stream key. Anyway, once you've entered all the relevant information, you just press confirm and go live. Now, again, unfortunately, the TikTok chat will not be inside Streamlabs. So it should pop up this link to read your TikTok chat. Or you can also create a second account, give it moderator and just view the chat from your phone. Now you probably want some live stream alerts for TikTok added to your Streamlabs and Tickfinity can do that. So on screen now is my entire Tickfinity guide.